Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at how to create send effects in Native Instruments Machine. And before we can actually use the send effect, we need to have a sound that it will be affecting. So we're going to go ahead and choose this really funny vocal. All right, so this is what it sounds like dry. Blam. So that's just kind of like a funny vocal that I found in the machine library. You, of course, can use anything that you want. Now we're going to actually go ahead and create the send effect. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to group B. Then for our first sound, instead of adding a vocal or a drum like we did for group A, we're going to go ahead and select on the second module an effect. So for this, we're just going to go and use a beat delay. That's an effect that is pretty noticeable once you apply it to a sound. Then on module one, we're going to click this drop down menu. For module one, instead of selecting an effect, we're going to go ahead and select input. Then we're going to leave the source as internal, as that will make sure that it is taking the audio from machine's internal routing system. Okay, so now that we have the effect set up, we need to actually send the audio from that sound in group A to this new effect unit in group B. So we're going to go ahead and switch back to group A. Then we're going to make sure that sound one is selected. From here, we're going to go to the output settings. Then for aux one, we're going to click on it and change it to B input. Now for using multiple send effects, for example, let's say you had one group B and you had one group C, you would see the different inputs there. So we're going to click on input. Now when we play the sound, the audio will be routed to that effect in group B. And it'll sound a little something like this. Blam. Blam. Now when you're using the auxiliary sends, you can change the level. You can either do that in the software or by adjusting the knob on the hardware. Now this level acts like a dry wet knob. So if we turn it all the way to the left, you'll hear that the sound is dry or without the effect. Blam. If you turn it all the way to the right, you'll hear that it takes in 100% of that effect. Blam. Blam. If you would like to suggest a topic for a future video tutorial on Native Instruments Machine, let us know on our Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash the DJ podcast or tweet at us at twitter.com slash the DJ podcast and let us know what you would like to see in a future video tutorial. Thanks for watching.